How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Analyze It. I'm your host, GP, along with my co-host. Lady M. So today, we are back in Broken Age. Now, as far as the video is concerned, it's probably just another video after, but it's actually been quite some time since we actually continue this. So we're going to get back into it. If I remember correctly, we are with the girl in another area. Oh, yes. Here we go. And we were... Uh, no. We just got done talking to a lumberjack that's afraid of trees. Something about the trees making fun of him or something. And we, he gave us his axe. All right. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. <laughs> sure. Because abstract art can be whatever you want to say it is. Yep. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. <clears throat> Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be. If I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. <laughs> okay. Mm. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically. But I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I assume I'm going to need it for something. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Mm. A weapon to kill Magchatra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's fiending. Right. He's like, I gotta have a stool. Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Okay, let me get this art he said I could have. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. You literally just got done saying how much you liked it. But then now it's like ancient history. Okay, sure. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? <laughs> and when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Okay. East? Or was it west? Mm. Meh. Mm. Okay. That's going to be great. He's trying to kill us. Well, let's see what's in his mailbox. It's not federally protected. <laughs> hmm. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Oh, boo. Nothing. Okay. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. Uh, they don't seem too chatty to me. Okay. Since he doesn't know which way to go, I guess I don't. Wait, is this east? West? Mm -hmm. Hey! Blow the horn. I think this was a beautiful snake. Okay, yeah. Blow the horn into him. Put his head under it. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. I know, right? Okay, so I have an axe. Some shoes, whatever. Alright, let's go in the other direction then. Maybe there's something I can use later to get that snake. Oh! Well, that's you. Excuse me, guy. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Okay. Well, Is there someone in it? I don't know. I'll probably have to use the axe to... Hello, Shellman. Looks like Mog Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Interesting. Okay, a little to the right. <laughs> uh, hey, ew, look at this. Oh, what is all this? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Now let's see if this Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Uh, why did you say that? Because you look like one. Because you look like a mayor. Mm, I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But huh. alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. Okay. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. Not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Are you saying I smell bad? I know, right? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. A very nice. Okay. But just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams. Just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child. But this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Okay, what did you do? Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea, she is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. I mean, that's a good uh, thing. Uh, you're on a beach. Of course it's going to get washed away. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. But then you're mad that it keeps getting washed away? Okay, cool. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. <laughs> okay. I won't tell them they were trying to kill Mog Chothra. When is Mog Chothra supposed to get here? Any minute. So much to do. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay. Let's talk to the maidens. You maidens getting ready for the Maiden's Feast? I mean, what, I could, mean those okay. are look. I mean, everyone, they always dress up around their town, so that's why she was dressed up to be like the cake theme or whatever. And they're like fish theme. Guarantee they stink. I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. 
Oh my god. Yes. Just as a friend. Uh huh. Just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Okay. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beef Hooker. It's irresistible to mm. moths. Okay. Yeah. Can I have some of your beast hooker? Hey, can I have some of your beast hooker? <laughs> that that name. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Okay. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Looks like everyone has an optimistic point of view about dying. I mean, yeah. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna die. Oh well. Lucky me. What is wrong? You made me nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Marshall. They're literally can building it here. in the water. I can't believe our dads donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Nice. Wow. Mm, I can tell you don't think a lot. Later. Ciao! Okay. What's this? Fishing pole to pick up. These fishing poles are useless. All oh. the hooks have been stolen. Okay, what's this? Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I um, just hope my baking town is still standing. Uh can I it use it? stinks enough without stirring it. Okay. And I don't know why I can click on it. Let's keep going. All right. Wait, what? Do you have like a bucket or a cup to get some? Maybe you could. No, like I, I assume that's what the bucket. I need the bucket from him. Oh. Okay. I assume that's why she asked for his bucket because I needed to do something of that nature. Okay. Uh -huh. All out of holy tear gas. Holy tear Use gas. The staff. Oh yeah. Halt. For the dead eye god sees no one. The what? Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. God. As if you didn't know. I didn't know. So far, they are. I know, right? Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. Okay. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Okay. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah.
bring us a solution and you may enter the pyramid. Okay. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer mm -hmm. of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the battle of Volgantol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. <laughs> really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. Now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Sounds promising. I know, right? It's like now we're getting somewhere. Let's see. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. What? what? Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Oh, yeah, Trigger. Huh. So I could just walk on in, huh? Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Uh, tear gas. No, I'm not gonna find tear gas. No. <laughs> Maybe a refreshing beverage? No thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet barnacle juice over here. Okay. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? They're going to say they're blind, so they can't read anything. Some more holy tear gas? Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, you're right. Just and you can tear gas them. Thanks. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Oh, okay. I already answered that. I don't, really, if I'm being completely honest. Then be gone. Okay, so I got some type of spray thing. Okay. Maybe I can, uh, what is it, dump the chum stuff maybe in the spray? And maybe that could be used as perfume? Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Okay, so what do I do? Spray it on myself? No way. I am not becoming seagull bait. Oh, what about the girls? Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Take the perfume. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Tothra about you, Drusilla. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, now I can spray it on myself. Oh man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Yeah. Okay, maybe he'll give me his bucket now. Marshall Dune? Hey, do you know the answer to the riddle about the pits and rotten bed? What kind of pits are you talking about? Huh. Not sure. No, right? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that 
is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. Hmm. Now, if there only was going to be a maiden's feast. Okay. There has to be a maiden's okay. feast. Okay, guess I'll tell him now. Kill Mob Chopra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mob <laughs> When he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Okay. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? it there looks we go. Terrible on you. Might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist, or a girl wearing half a dress? Boo. Okay, let's compliment them. About your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. Mm. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Wow. There you go. Hey, child, I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Okay. Alright. I guess that's all I can do right now. Alright, Tree, what's going on? What's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut. I feel like I should hear what it has to say first. Okay. I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murder! A thrilling psychopath right here! <laughs> what? Shh, shh. He'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Wow. Hey, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren. Mm. It makes me sick. You are way too late, bro. Okay. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me. I'm going to wake up this whole forest! You were muffled. I was trying to just make it so you could talk. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? Mm. I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, binding her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Okay. Ooh, if he throws up, you might be able to use the sap. So that's what I need the bucket for, to catch his sap. But what do I need his sap for? You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. I'm full of it, all right. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Oh, you gotta make him throw up. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Okay, I got you. Now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? <laughs> Is there no end to the humiliation? I got something to show you. Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. But at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. Oh. 
Uh, I can give this to Curtis to make into a stool. Yeah. And once he makes into a stool, then he's going to be like, then he's going to throw up. There we go. We, we got something going. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. <laughs> what? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. <laughs> Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Okay. That doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, that was the worst phrasing of that sentence. Interesting. I guess I can't do anything with this snake right now. All right, get ready to throw up, tree. Hey, I got something to show you. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my God, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood oh. to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> oh, wow. Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <gasps> before he begins the deep carving. <sighs> mm. Oh, sorry. Did that upset you? You monster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh let's see. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe wielding murderous humans, so get lost. <laughs> Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Maybe. Is that all you humans think about killing? You all make me want to puke. Dude. Why is everything gonna be about puking oh, with you? Get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul rootless stump. Okay, goodbye. I don't wanna know I don't wanna see you again. Oh wait a minute. Wow, the sap is super thick. That's it. If I give the sap to him, he might be able to make this stuff look good. Oh, make like a platform. But I got an idea. What if this art thing is what I can show them for the solution? Because Here she comes again. they don't know what the solution is. So maybe... I have a piece of art here that is the solution to your riddle. Does it have a pit or children? Not really. Okay, I retract my statement. Oh my lord, a pit. Check it out. Proof. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. A pit. It's I got answer it. to your Dump. Riddle, But it's just a fruit. Oh. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. <laughs> really? It's like, go ahead. Yeah. It's not, Yorn is just a person. I'm going in. Okay. Okay. Guess this is where they buried their old god. Such strange shapes in here. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Ah, uh, okay. 
I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. What? What can I do on the lights? Whatever. I'm supposed to go here. Yep. Okay. Ah, man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. What? You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. <laughs> <laughs> someone smarter. Oh, that's great. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. Wow. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part wow. I went into chrysolation to tell you the truth. So they were dumb that whole time. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, Think about that whoa. whole time they've There's still a giant dumb. monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, That's and it true. may or may not have already. My whole family might be. Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one, but my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Mm. Can I help? Depends. Do you know anything about spaceships? No, I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Because <laughs> I remember in the beginning of the game, they were saying that uh, their town used to be like a warrior place or something. Oh, okay. Like the grandfather said that or mm -hmm. something of that nature. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What's the mission? What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. The Runa was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. What's La Runa? That's my home planet. Or... At least it was. Who knows mm. if it's even still there? How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I what? tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Is he the little boy? I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't think so because. If he's the little boy, he knows more about what's going on than the boy did. Because the boy didn't really know anything. I mean, unless he's the boy in the future, like, as a teenager and he learns stuff and then he got him. I don't know. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a crystal over here. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, wow. that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Oh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Okay. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Okay, why did I why did I pick that up? Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? 
Uh, maybe. The top socket is empty. Yeah, because you stole my laser coil, and you'd better put it back. It's a laser, huh? Can it fire? I don't see any of the crystals. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. The top of this pyramid is transparent. Oh, okay. I'm just looking so at these strange. little... Like, see how they're glowing? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts, but if I can get them all, I should be able to get something working. As a weapon? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Get my ship working so I can get out of here, I mean. I haven't started on the whole weapon thing yet. Let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, see you later. I mean... Uh -huh. That's what I'm asking you. Hi. Hey. Oh, dang it. Okay, I thought I'd click you. on the table or whatever that's next to him. Um, hmm. I mean, I have a ladder. I don't need a ladder hanging off of me. Okay, maybe a ladder for him. Need a ladder? Haven't you noticed how freakishly tall I am? Yeah, <laughs> I guess you don't. I can reach over anything. It's really cool. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I was thinking more like maybe you have a lower part of your ship you can access. Mm, mm, mm. This guy's weird. Uh, whatever it is I need, I don't think I have right now. Because these are the bird shoes. These are the ladder. This is a stool. And the sap. So the sap, I have an idea of what I need to use it for. I'm pretty sure if I give the sap to the guy... He makes his sand thing stronger so the water doesn't wash him away. And maybe you find a crystal on the beach. Nailed it. You never know. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for us on this episode. So, so far, so good. I mean, we're getting somewhere in this. And uh, we made it further as far as in uh, her storyline. His, we've already kind of finished. So, I guess, ooh, excuse me, uh, for this region. So, yeah. We'll see what we can do as far as to save this girl. And uh, I think we solved a couple of things there. So, we kind of have an idea of what to do next. So, hopefully, things go all right. I'm hoping moving this thing or whatever activates a weapon of some sort because I can see where the lines go mm -hmm. and then this goes to the top right. so it looks like I might need a, a crystal of some sort to put here while that other crystal maybe was like a blocker of some sort I don't know but right now I don't have anything crystal like so maybe someone gives it to me or yeah I look on the beach or something I don't know anyway you guys have been awesome. You've been great. As always, definitely do not forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell note icon for information for the future. I've been your host, GP, along with my co-host. Lady M. It's been great. It's been awesome. And you guys have a nice day. <laughs>